بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم In the beginning of the year is always a good time to sit back, reflect and ponder. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us in the Quran to reflect upon the alternation of days and nights, passing of the time, the years, the months. In the beginning of the year we reflect upon a very special day for Muslims. It is Ashura day, the 10th day of the very first month of the Islamic lunar calendar, the Shahr Allah al-Muharram. This day is very special um, for Muslims. And when the Prophet ﷺ migrated from Mecca to Medina, he came to know that the Jews fast this day to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for saving Prophet Musa السلام, from Fir'aun. The Prophet وسلم, and since then, asked his companions and his followers until the day of judgment to fast this day and another day before it or after it. Thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his miracle in saving Musa alayhi salam. Why we celebrate Ashura? Why as Muslims we celebrate Ashura? The very first reason, brothers and sisters, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with this message of Islam, the final message that unites us. As we believe in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and follow in his footsteps, we also believe, love, respect, and render all the Prophets. And that's why we remember this day and this miracle for our Prophet Musa Alaihi Salam. There are lots of similarities between the story of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam migrating from Mecca to Medina and the story of Prophet Musa Alaihi Salam migrating from the land of Fir'aun. And that's why this, this event has significant uh, impact in the history of Muslims and the history of Jews at the same time. And when you reflect upon how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrated this story in the Quran and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala narrated the story of Musa alayhi salam leaving the land of Fir'aun, you will see lots of um, similarities and lots of lessons to be learned. When you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam when he uh, left Mecca and he went through lots of hardships and in the middle of the way, when he was in the cave, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured in the Quran this moment when his companion, Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa O Prophet, if one of them look to his feet, he will see us. لو نظر أحدهم تحت قدميه لرآنا He was telling the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured the response of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in that very moment. He said, لا تحزن إن الله معنا Fear not. Do not worry. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us. This was the moment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured in the Quran about this trip of the Prophet وسلم, this migration from Mecca to Medina. When you see on the other hand, the story of Musa السلام, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured the same moment when Musa السلام, left with his people and his followers, and he came to this point when Fir'aun, when, when Pharaoh and his soldiers, they were coming from their back and the sea in front. Also his companions and his followers told Musa alayhi salam, we are caught, we will be overtaken. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured this in the Quran. Inna lamudrakun. They said to him, qala ashabu Musa inna lamudrakun. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also captured the response 
of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam exactly as the response of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam qala kalla inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdi he said to them no never never indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide me through it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me and he will guide me through it this was the, his response to his people and his followers the exact same response brothers and sisters from the two prophets in the same trip the migration from the old land to the new land and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured in the two stories how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to Prophet Muhammad and descended his, his sakina and serenity on his heart and the heart of his companion Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala captured how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded to Musa alayhi salam and asked him to hit the, the strike the sea with his stick and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the path for him and his followers to go in the middle of the sea and saved him and his followers this significant event brothers and sisters that we remember and reflect upon at the beginning of the year as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us and as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa guided us we learn from this story the, the story of um, of Prophet Musa alayhi salam and the story of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that this life the dunya that we live actually it has lots of hardships lots of tests and we have to, to go through struggles it is never meant to be easy it was never it was it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this life to be a test that we go through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have taken the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam Musa and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and took them through this uh, trip of migration with no hardships but they went through a lot themselves and their followers for their message to flourish and for the message of Islam and the message of Prophet Musa alayhi salam to be protected and to flourish this is a, a message that and a lesson that we all need to learn this life is nothing but a test the Jannah was created to, ha to become a place that we will see no pain, no worry, no fear but not this life and uh, the other lesson that we reflect upon specifically at the beginning of the year we feel like we need this you see when the Prophet ﷺ did his best and used everything possible in his hand he had this, his, his, this faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this, this conviction that he was saying to his followers indeed no never Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never abandon me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide me through it my Rabb is with me inna ma'ya Rabbi sayahdeen my Lord is with me and he will guide me through it these are the words the identical words that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi used the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi used and also the exact same word the Prophet Musa alayhi salam used it is this lesson that we learn that to have uh, this faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and conviction when we feel the messiness around us and the darkness around us to talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to talk to our shaitan to talk to people around us they say to us it's not going to work um, uh, it is so messy it is so dark we say after doing all uh, our best after doing everything possible we say no indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with us and at this moment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the gates for us another important lesson brothers and sisters that we also need is showing being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings this is a blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, gave to Prophet Musa that we are actually thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for until day of judgment we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for saving Prophet Musa alayhi salam every year by fasting and this is a lesson that we need to learn 
we need to learn how to show uh, to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to show these uh, blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah mentioned this that we should proclaim the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّدْ Unfortunately, in this life, brothers and sisters, so many of us tend to, um, I would say, hide the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tend to share the pain, the issues, the problems, the hardships of this life, but they fail to share the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon them. They are protective of sharing how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, bless them with so many things. It is always good to show or to choose who you share this with, with but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves to see his blessings upon us and to see us thankful and grateful for what we have. And this is a lesson that we learn from this story that until day of judgment we are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this, for this blessing. Finally, it is good to share with our families, with our kids, the story of the Prophet Musa alayhi salam and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This migration and this, and this journey and these lessons that we learn from these stories around these times. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to recognize his blessings upon us and to be grateful for what we have and thankful to him all the time. Amin, amin, amin.